day I'm coming to you from inside my writer's shed and really happy to be able to uh, spend this day with you. It's actually Anzac Day today and uh, but when you see this video it'll be uh, the Sunday. So hope you have uh, having a lovely uh, Anzac weekend and that you were able to stand at dawn uh, by your letterbox or in your lounge room and remember those who who uh, sacrificed their lives and represented our country uh, in the many wars up to up to date and in fact we are in a different kind of war at the moment with this virus, COVID-19 virus I pray that you may stay safe and stay at home uh, by yourself or with your loved ones and we've had a lot of contact uh, with family and loved ones and I've had a lot of contact with you and felt of your love and appreciation and I just want to say that I appreciate you too and the love that you've shared with me and very grateful for uh, the opportunities that I've been blessed with and uh, the means that I've been provided with to be able to uh, help others and serve others at this crucial time. So today we're going to watch the rest of Princess in the Castle and I thought I'd share with you where the story came from. So in front of me here, and you might be able to see I've got some books. So The Princess in the Castle was actually written by Caroline Binch and this is the book that it came from. I was working in town at the time uh, for Computer World magazine as a uh, design and layout graphic designer and in my lunch time I used to you know walk through go into the shop sometimes and there was a Whitcalls not far from my office and this book caught my eye. I wanted to make a film of each of my children when they were five years old and Lucy was um, she might have been three at the time so I saw this book and I thought how it would be a good story for her and you'll see it has the puppets in it and it's a story of, of um, death and sorrow when uh, her father passes away but a new companion for the mother comes into their life and how she struggles to accept him and then um, I won't tell you, I won't give you any spoilers so that's what The Princess in the Castle is basically about and this has got beautiful um, illustrations in it you can see the one there of them on the boat and so when you're watching the movie you'll be able to um, there's the one of her and her little brother uh, on the top of the sand hill and her brother's name was Jack and Ethan played the role of Jack so that's a lovely story um, that you can have a look at It was some days later that Mum introduced Jack and Genevieve to her new friend Cedric. Hello! Genevieve, come and meet Cedric. This is Jack here. So this is Genevieve yeah. and this is Jack. Yeah. <laughs> Genevieve, say hello. Ah, it's very nice. Oh. oh no. Oh, I'm sorry about that. It Something... might take her a little while to get used to you, but okay. I'm sure she will. <laughs> Let's hope so, eh? Oh my 
mum talked a lot about Cedric after that, but Genevieve had her doubts. A tall, scary giant would try to capture a small princess, she thought. She hoped he would not capture mum. She found Cedric's guitar in the evenings gentle and soothing and mum looked pretty lately and smiled and laughed a lot and this made Genevieve happy. Little by little, Genevieve became less afraid and her heart began to soften to the tall red knight. Step by step, Genevieve took courage and became brave enough to paddle into the water by herself. to the beach, little princess. How would you like to visit the castle? We could sail across in my boat. You can't go sailing and get lost. But all your stories are set in the castle, Jen. It would be a shame if you didn't go. She hated the idea that Cedric could be in danger and she hated being left behind. She simply had to go. Okay then, I'll go. As they headed to the island, the gentle rocking of the boat as it swished through the sea calmed Genevieve. She felt safe with Mum and tall, strong Cedric. She couldn't 
wait to explore her castle. They spent all morning exploring the nooks and crannies of the castle. Genevieve, though, was a bit surprised to find no soldiers, no princess or throne, no jewels or her king. And so it was that the little princess, Genevieve, had found her king after all. She didn't hate the sea anymore. She lived right next to it, in a batch on the coast. Now it had brought her happiness and warmth, and the sea was all sparkly and calm.